Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of 16 match between Drags Orcs and El Dude Reno's Nurgles and what a horrible kickoff event that is. The ball carrier goes down, two people on the LOS go down, two warriors on the LOS go down and now all of a sudden he's just going to get absolutely guard locked and brutalised. In the booth with me is Elk Meme and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Um, what a, what a, well... A thriller, I would say. It's the is the green tide going to sweep all before it in this uh, this round of 16? So far, orcs have looked unstoppable. Is the last standing Nurgle or shuffling Nurgle going to be enough? That's a good question. That was a, that was a nice. Well, that wasn't a good removal, but at least it was nice that he made a removal. <laughs> yeah. Where's up, Jim? Do you want to go live in Discord, mate? I will do. Yes, I do apologize. Yeah. No, it's okay. Just don't want to load the game. <laughs> there is, um, I mean, there's no denying here the clear and obvious difference between the teams is the Orcs have built uh, very strongly with lots of guard, lots of block, fair smattering of mighty blow, and a few other bits and bobs, and the Nurgle haven't. <laughs> um, they have one guard on their Beast of Nurgle, so in terms of the guard war, they're not very likely to win it. But they do have a claw pommer, and, and a claw pommer can just win the game on his own, can't he? Yes, they have a claw pommer, they also have a claw mighty blow. So, you know, they're not without hitting power. Um, it's perhaps a little light for what you'd want facing an orc um, horde like this, but it, it could do the job. If we were to put them on the banger index, they're going to be quite low down, all things considered, in the context of the CCL teams that have made it to Chalice. But they're still up yes. there. You know, they're, they're higher than most elf teams. Obviously not Jim's uh, piling on. Elf team. Fuck off. If anybody's well, I mean, watching this season. The key issue here is uh, can you get, you know, one or both claw doing that job fairly regularly? And in terms of blitzing, you only need one claw pop. Well, he's made um, two cars with him so far. One. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> two out of two. Not bad at all. Uh, if you can get the other one getting occasional hits too, then, you know, that's game one. Mm. He's got two. He's got two warriors out of the play here, hasn't he? With that, those stuns that have recovered now, and that's pretty brutal. That's pretty brutal. Uh, plenty of time to sort all of that out, haven't we? There fans is. Fans of I future. Mean, he's got a lot of orcs in his face, up in his grill. Fans of looking too far into the future. That black orc is minus move, and of course will not be making the next game. Yeah, I mean, the, the, he followed because he wanted to pile on if he... If he yes. <laughs> um, but there's there's no denying that with this much you know, guard on the opposite team, almost anywhere that you're in contact, you're going to be in peril. Yeah. So he's just got to get the job done quick. I mean, I hope the stink does some work, you know, re reduces some hits that way. Um, oh, you're confusing there. You mean foul appearance, right? Stink is the uh, yeah. the passing thing. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's all one and the same because they used to be the same skill. I mean, and it's foul appearance split. and disturbing yeah. presence, so, so neither disturbing of them presence. are stink. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> so that's a bit nitpicky, that, I don't mean. <laughs> well, no, it's it's for new players. We were having a discussion about gatekeeping, weren't we? Um, Help me. In my heart, not yeah, the you're right. It, exactly. The, commentators it's, that I've the term is in my life. I use to cover both the disturbing presence and foul appearance so yes a foul appearance means that on a one in uh, six when you're trying to hit any of the four warriors noble warriors also known uh, the two bloaters if you've uh, been playing in the last five years on tabletop or the beast itself the beast of Nurgle, then you have to pass uh, two plus to even hit it yeah basically sort of treat it as doing a gfi gfi to hit keeps it nice and honest yeah, I mean, it, it, it does add up. I mean, there are five of them. So if yeah. you're trying to hit all five in a turn, then you can expect perhaps one of those to not work. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there are times when it feels like feels like it does fucking nothing. I mean, yeah, like absolutely. Uh, yeah, there'll, there'll be whole turns where it doesn't fire at all. There'll be whole games where it doesn't fire at all. And uh, hello, Diomed. Very nice, very nice Necro team, hasn't he, Diomed? Mr. Quibbled is out of the play. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know if anyone's got any sweep on how soon we reach Blood Bowl 7s. <laughs> but it looks, like, it looks like it will be first half. So uh, anyone that's gone late in the game, I think you've missed your shot. 
Oh, he's he's foul appearance. There you go. There it is. <laughs> yeah. This, this claw guy's been a star, hasn't he? He's been he's been brought down twice and then <laughs> ugly him. And isn't yeah, ugly. We would you call it ugly, don't you? Generally, a foul appearance is an ugly role, and uh, the disturbing presence is the stink. Well, that's um, somewhat complicated by the, at the moment, completely non-hireable, but soon to be essential hooligan figure for the goblin team, who comes with disturbing presence. And the way that it's always chosen to be talked about and depicted is that he comes with a microphone, really? uh, that he's sort of disturbing people with his noise and chatter. Fuck. Wow. Yeah. Does he have dirty player and disturbing uh, uh, presence now? N yes. Now he has the double DP. Oh baby, I do like double D's. Gets a pal. <laughs> From Mighty Blade banging I was, out. I was, oh, yeah, man. I was just about to say what you need against Claw is for the rest of the players to stand up to whatever else is thrown at them, so that all you're trying to control and, and avoid is the claw hits. And exactly as I was thinking that, you know, Mighty Blow removes Some fodder, admittedly, but it, it all helps the numbers. He's slow, obviously Nurgle's slow, but that really opens up the left-hand side and, and quite possibly the centre of the pitch. Blitz here to guard, mighty blow, banger. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're certainly of mixed pace. You know, the beast is not quick and neither are the uh, the Nurgle warriors. No. Pests are, are average speed, though. Certainly the orcs, you know, are, are pretty much match them, don't they? The Blitz are the same as the Pesticles, the Black Orcs are the same as the Nurgle warriors. Troll and Beast have the same pace, so... What he could have there isn't done. really a speed advantage here, except that weird orc that could moves it. seven agility forward. Yeah, he could he could have blitzed this guy right, and then he could have chained that guy off, and then he could have clawed the troll. That might have been a nice idea to uh, you know get his team back together. But he just wants to claw pump somebody, of course. It's considering yes, he goes for the claw. Yeah, he's the looking for the player. greed, isn't he? But um, I mean, he's only got two rerolls. I wouldn't at this point in the half be. Throwing one of those away casually, particularly when you can get you, another hit. You, you've spoken at great length that you have never really played with Clawpon. Yes. So I don't know if you can like accurately say that you wouldn't be re-rolling that there. Sure, it's a bad play, but Clawpon's one hell of a fucking drug, <laughs> <laughs> and that does a lot. It does a lot. Well, yeah, I think that's. Um, I can't contest that argument at all, nor am I going to try to. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, we've all been there, you know. <laughs> in our minds, like, it's well, a I haven't. One of the yes. best commentators well, yeah, of course. I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> See, because this is just horrible, right? By not doing that, but I think that was the best positional blitz because without doing that yeah. now, he's just he's just gonna get cream next turn. Yeah. I mean, even knocking lots of the orcs off the pitch, there is still always gonna be that guard advantage because they've got all the guard. He's got the backfield banger laying down on his back. Um, and he's movement bust, isn't he? So he's not going very far. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is a weird team of orcs. There's the plus move one. There's a minus move one. The, there's a plus move with plus agility. and Just an ordinary plus agility. And, and the, the fourth one was slightly odd, too. I, I forget where that one's got to now. Yeah. Around Massive the back. Yeah, that one's, mass, that one's down agility. Is, yeah. There's a down speed and a down agility, two up agilities and an up speed. None of them are ordinary. Yes. Hang in my ear, we've got a massive raid from Eliod. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Eliod, for the massive, massive raid. Um, there is unfortunately no channel points option for push ups as people have stockpiled thousands and thousands of them. So I, have... I, I would be scared of even putting it as 50,000 for a push up. <laughs> Yes, I've had to up the cost of make me play a race because someone afforded it. <laughs> there you go. See, there you go. 260k for L. Yep. I may have cleaned up during some of the old earlier JFW stuff. Well, not earlier, but, you know, at the start of year. I lost all mine gambling on Skuro to beat you. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Anybody no, that voted I, for Skuro I knew. More. I knew it was a point of principle. That's fair. See, there's a snap. No decision there. No decision making at all. He just instantly, I'm not re-rolling this. Yeah. As uh, I mean, pause. The, I mean, the Orcs only has a single re-roll. At this point, they absolutely can't. 
No, yeah, they've got not. they've got five turns left. There is still a possibility that the Nurgle, because they're not making a lot of progress. Oh, um, if they do potato a piece, you know, the orcs might need to re-roll a hit on the ball. You cannot <laughs> use your last re-roll to just try and chip a piece. The well, troll, the troll activation. I don't think you're doing that. No, I, I think. No. I think yeah, he's moved, he's moved his black orc out over here, which mean which leaves him weak here, right? Where this where this claw yeah. guy is, and then so activating, you run the risk of him going stupid. No, okay, he was kind of unlucky to have it happen, but now uh, no, you absolutely now have to. Right you certainly have to centralise. Yeah, I mean, you might even take the troll down just for shits and giggles on the way through. Yeah, yeah, just give him a little cheeky slap at the claw, might you? Yeah. yeah, give him a dick. Yeah, he love that. Yeah. Because, I mean, that troll is quite a useful piece. I, mean, I, I get why it, it was tempted regen, to activate it, it because, it, yes, it has regen. But stand firm, block, and guard is it's just so awful on a strength 5 piece. Of course, not when it's stupid. Yeah. Really importantly, as well, of course, it can't use its stand firm. Is that programmed into Blood Bowl 2, or do they I, leave it, it on? Can, it can use stand firm in Blood Bowl 2, it just can't now, can it? In, in Blood Bowl 3, it shouldn't be able to use stand firm, but. You can still use stand firm without tackle zones in, in you know, CRP. So whilst right. it's really stupid, it shouldn't be able to, but it can here. Right. No, it, okay. it well, should be able to. It should be able to because we're using CRP rules. Okay, so in the CRP rules, that was a thing. Yes, but in Blood Bowl, well, no. In Blood Bowl 2020, he wouldn't be able to use block or guard yeah. or stand firm. But whether Cyanide have programmed it correctly... Um, yeah, I'll probably the this <laughs> and the blitzes. No skills that need to be used during a turn can be used on blitzes. That is weird and just huge and strange. Yeah, I mean he has got stun firm. Blitz he has got stun firm and block, but he hasn't. I mean he hasn't got a guard now anyway, has he? But, no. But um, he, like he he hasn't. He has still got block and stun firm, and you still might might want to punch him. Like you don't always just yeah, want to exactly. ignore them when they're stupid. Bit of a thinker for Dudorino. It's not what? Mate, that's your banger piece. You've got to be blitzing with him. Well, one of the advantages of, of blitzing a stupid piece is, of course, if you don't knock it over, you can just run away afterwards. You don't have to dodge off. Yeah. I guess here he's going to take the there. Chaos Rory and walk through the Black Orc. He, he might just be advancing here. and seizing some area of the field. but He's not seized much area, though. The Orcs have a perfect loop here. Like, I yeah. feel as though you had to be going diagonal and forward. Well, that's why I was kind of favouring having a go at the troll. Is he planning to blitz with the beast to move it off? No, I think no. he's going to blitz with the troll. Blitz with the, blitz with the mighty, surely, and then and then hit, hit this troll with the beast. This is no forward movement, though, really. Yeah. If you're doing that, you could have just moved him and then assisted with the. You could have just God. moved there, assisted the beast's hit on there. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay, he's taking control of a flank. He could have moved there, and then he could have blitzed the troll with claw, mate. He couldn't need that. I think that would be... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I, you know... Claw would have broken AV, just quietly. Yep. <laughs> he's would have already... Been a kill uh, as well. Wait for the six to come. If it's an, <laughs> if the next die is a six, we're going to call it a fucking kill. <laughs> you know, I should confess, I have a bit of a horse in this game, in that I have been uh, having some tactical advice chats with El Dudorino. And I'm pretty At least he knows sure how to play with the beast. He should be hitting with claw every single turn. Yeah. But yeah. there's exceptions to every rule. I mean, he, I saw what he did positionally there. He's hemmed up the orcs even more over one side. Yeah. But as El pointed out, the the fast ones can still get over in front of this if they choose to. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. Didn't, didn't activate his beast in the end. Just left him. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, you know, he's playing with the beast correctly. You don't, and I think you take the stalemate there with the, when you're the orcs. The beast is but then tied. I don't quite understand why we left the claw mighty on the troll if we were going to leave the beast there. Yeah, baiting the baiting the activation. Now you've seen him do it. Yeah, told you. <laughs> baiting getting smashed by mighty blow. <laughs> yeah, works like it yep. works like a treat. Well, it's a double GFI, isn't it? It's got the it's got the really stupid. Into the foul appearance. Yeah, I didn't love that last turn. No. Oh, oh triple GFI failing. Oh baby, look a dog. Well, the disadvantage there of the slow, um, slow orc. It could have failed that in different ways. Yeah. 
Well, you just bang him out and move forward a bit, don't you? Oh, right, Easy. Right, right. You, got, you got the injury. I thought he didn't move the Black Orc to the far right there across, but of course he clapped the Nurgle guy, didn't he? he yeah. Did. God. I love Another that sound, cast, three cats. <laughs> Yeah, he just three casually three slashing hits. another, and he it's another miss next game. He hasn't even piled, he's just claw mighty three guys out. <laughs> That's fucking yeah. ridiculous. You don't need five of them. Wow. I mean, it's nice to have five. You see many teams with five, and I understand the lure. But if you've got one and it works, you can delete anything. Yep, yep, you do only need one to fire. To, uh, like, like, one on its own is all you need to... Uh... Really ruin a, an orc's tear, isn't it? Yeah, same with lizards as well. If you can get that dismantle train rolling, you're fucking laughing. But it often doesn't go that way. I would go on record as saying Dudorino is rolling relatively hot with that killer at the moment. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I yeah I think I would probably agree with that. That is a, a valid assessment in my view. Yep. Uh, this is the last game from this round, yet Reckless of Brandon, yet. Well, I did point out we might end up with Blood Bowl 7s. We do currently have 7 Orcs on the pitch. And 9 Nurgle. Yeah, so the Orcs got a little bit of catching up to do. Uh, there's a Rotter in a lot of peril. I quite like his odds of going off next. So is he going to rely upon sort of outstifling the guard here, rather than... Um... Because he, I don't know. This is a bit no, risky. It's gonna, it's gonna hit guys. This gonna is quite risky. Yeah. I, I didn't. I don't know why we have to engage here. We've got the numbers advantage. We can cage. And they are edge four elves. Uh, sorry, orcs. Yeah, two of them are. Which yeah. is too Dodge. many. Not only one tackle. I on don't the, see uh, where we've left knows. ourselves safe to go. Okay, well, that's not safe. <laughs> He's got the rot dodge, hasn't he? Make it all fucking hunky dory. Yes, yeah, he's going to have to, though, isn't he? Do we see the four plus beast? Wow. Yeah. Okay, the stun's good. This should probably be more or less alright, shouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's just not the way you should have achieved it being more or less alright. But it is hard I, I to don't, be... I don't disagree, but it, it looks like it's fine. Yeah, I think I think he's already up numbers. I think just prioritise ball security this turn, and then you know try and get the extra bangs later. Yeah, yeah. But you know, th there's no denying that stun helps a lot. If the troll goes down here, uh, sorry, the beast goes down. Yep. It's, yeah. He's, he's exposed. He's very exposed. That guy is his both hits. Ah, uh, uh, does nice. that not cover up a square? No. Oh, it's the pal. If he gets the power, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, he can only base, but he can base. Which is... Okay, if he gets the power, he can get two down on the ball now. Yep, because now, yeah, he needs to power. He needs to power the beast, doesn't he? This is the big one. Yeah, he powers the beast, and drops it to the southern square of the three choices, and doesn't advance, and then he's got a route through to provide the assist with the black goes. Power. He's got to not follow as well, hasn't he? Yep. Hard as that is at times. <laughs> yeah, when go, there. Trolls, go there and, and don't beat. follow through. <laughs> uh, that's where he needs to push him. Oh, yeah, he's oh. worked it out well. The KO helps as well. Oh boy, howdy. The KO. Orcs uh, I did say back. sevens. It's now seven eight. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, he didn't go in there. It's the extra assist oh, we that's can. That's horrible. Yeah, that's then, horrible. then this is still. How does he now expect to get two die? Double G, That's man. the wrong square, Jimmy. Oh, he's dodging. Okay, he's, he's no, he's dodging all the way around the dodging. back. Okay. But this is the wrong place to be dropping the ball as well. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it was way better to, to just pushing the ball into the... his. Yeah. Occupying Push the ball the towards the edge, I suppose, not towards. Okay, think about it this way: he fails to pick up. The sure hand thing has a very low movement for next turn, but he's at least within the range of the ball. This, this with the ball going towards the to team. Be... The Black Orc had to be there because he's controlling the strength five. Yeah. And it's yeah. extra tackles on the ball. You just. Exactly. That was just wrong. That was wrong. terrible. Bad. And, and the, the wrong direction to push the body because most of the squares the ball could drop in were inside that little cage where he has nothing in front of it. Oh, yeah, the empty cage. Yeah. 
The old hollow cage. Okay. So pushing it to the sideline, just behind the uh, the killer piece, was the more obvious square where there were some bounce out options that were uh, not in a tackle zone even. Yeah. A face killer too. Should However, you know, he sacked Paul. Let's look at the positives here. He worked out the way through. Yep. He did the right hit with the troll. Everything was done in the right order. Uh, he even got his little claw palm hit along the way. Oh. Which I don't think he should have taken. No! No! <laughs> um, no, you fuck scoring, right? Like, you, you risk your chances at scoring just to clap the edge fucking... Yeah, edge even blitz him with claw... Like, if yeah. you're doing that, just blitz him with claw palm. Yeah, just blit yeah, blitz him off with the guy that's on him. Yeah. And the guy that could potentially mate. fucking take him out. Yeah, just use claw okay. mate and blitz with him. Or, bl or you blitz the, the black orc and then... That, uh, that and then seems a crazy him. decision. And again, it, it's not... If someone were advising him and were talking about how you should hit things with claw... When they've got AV9 a lot, it's not really the doing guy that. guy could just fucking it? blitz, can't he? The edge four movement guy. Plus, it's the one place yeah. where a strength five isn't as much use because the strength four black orc can push him off. These two a, stuns two are brutal. Actually, looking at the two stuns, he just had to blitz and run up, didn't he? And then move yeah. the other guy up. There was, there was yeah. no other player than that because he. No, just you have to players. you have to blitz off with the claw and run away from the ball. Yeah. Which is risky as hell, but then you have to pick up with the short hands and get beyond where the claw palm's gone to and scream with the other warrior. That's and right. he, I mean, he now can't move the claw palm up behind him. Is this Xbox League from Overlordy? No, this is Jesus. this is uh, on the PC. Well, that <laughs> doesn't look that different. He's got a GFI here, hasn't he? Made this screen. Yeah. Oh, 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 sort of closes it. <laughs> They had to do that, right? So, yeah, yeah this had, is... it absolutely has to be that. Yeah. Okay, so now now it's pretty closed. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. There's the black orc that can get so. rowdy around in front of it, but it's that was a bit hectic. Yeah, we're seeing like a desirable outcome, but it relies upon so much shit and could have been achieved a bit sooner, right? Well, There's I mean, the second the, turn, it was a it was a safer play because if there was a fail on the ball pickup, there were then three pieces around the ball. Yes, yeah. So it was safer in that regard, and this is where it really does come in. This is the point where who can say what's right or wrong. I mean, you would need the supercomputer you've talked about one day having help. Yeah. But, um, you know, that oh, was safer. The because if the pickup fails, you've got three things right there. Good chance yeah, one of them true. catches it or it's in tackle zones. But the ballsier play was to blitz off using the claw mighty and not pom at all. And then run up to roughly where it is. Then pick up. And then the strength five could have been up there screening as well. Yeah. And then in a single pickup, you've solved all problems. Yeah. And you don't. I'm need seeing it from GFIs. a. I'm just seeing it from a match equity perspective. In in what world do you pass up that bang on clearly your York's best player? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that, that it, is, it, also, it also it also adds that in, which to me means that's why I would have chosen it. Yeah, like you, you just have to. I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I also think it's the better play. Yeah. But it is ri it's slightly riskier. There's no denying that. Yeah, that's true. So if that one in nine pops, well, you're probably screwed. A uh, Frank Furter with a direct question for you there, PC. He uh, joined, says he's joined chat just as you were explaining um, you'd been coaching El Dudorino and he'd like an explanation for the choices that Dudorino has been making. Um, I mean, it's not that I've been coaching him. We've had a chat before each game. He just wanted to chat about... Seems like one-on-one -on -one coaching, things. which you can get through PC's Patreon. Um, but yeah, that's not like coaching you, mate. Thanks, Elp. Um, yeah, okay, a little bit, maybe. I mean, just chats, yes. Um, I, I can explain some of his choices. Um, you know, I told him to use his claw and bang on stuff, which he has done. Uh, he's being a teenager and doesn't want to do what I say. <laughs> Is but he also, he, he is his own person, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I've tried to explain where at times I feel the choices wouldn't be necessarily the ones I would make, because there's a good chance he faces Orcs again next round. He can one well, he does, if he wins this. Yeah. I can just dodge anyway. He's got dodge, hasn't he? He's got blood. Yeah, just take the dodge. Just, just run through. Now, this is a fairly easy okay. score, but it's obviously a little early. However... It's not like there's a huge flood of orcs to come back on. Yeah, They're all dead. Nice, that's pretty nice. That's that's a pretty nice end of turn. There's still a there's still a there's still a rotter yeah. landed here, so it's about even numbers. Well, that's why the the play we looked at last turn, Jim, was ballsier and better. It'd have had many more reinforcements up around there. Man. Yes. Um. 
Yeah, like he had the man advantage, and it just like, and I was gonna comment on this earlier on, but you get these removers as Nurgle, but then you look at the orcs and you're like, oh fuck, I'm actually not ahead at all because they're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every single one of them is still awful. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. The orcs are just such badasses, aren't they? And like, you've got no guard, and now what do you do? Pick this guy up for a start. Yeah, well, yeah hence, safety. Hence, <laughs> yeah, hence it doesn't even take that many orcs to to get on top of you because yeah, the, the guard does mean they can just multiply smaller numbers oh. up into. Here we go. We might have a bit of uh, oh. excitement here. Two naked twos needed. I did it. Ah, oh, gets them. Shades of Louise uh, Redknapp there. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I'm, I'm that's lost. lost on me. That's a that's yeah. a very obscure reference from the nineties. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Woo. <laughs> Try and do my best to are. fill in. If we're whoring out my wares, and thank you very much for that uh, free advertisement earlier, Elf. I'll put a couple of two plus uh, emotes in there available for all subscribers to the purple chest twitch. <laughs> Obviously, the Mona Lisa dabbing is the better choice. Thanks, calcium. <laughs> Calcium knows. But yeah, no rerolls now. Two turns is going to be difficult, isn't it? No, absolutely. He's got a good, a good player. Well, two good players. He's got he's got the sure hands, edge four, and then he's got the move seven, blodge, edge four. So he has got two good players, but it's still going to be very hard two turns. Help me, in my and also opinion, remember, this is where genuinely we can talk about the smell, the disturbing presence perhaps being a factor. <laughs> Yes. Um, there is, uh, it has a range of three, so the two rot the two Nurgle's warriors that are set up only three back from the line of scrimmage. Their disturbing presence covers everybody on the line, as of course does the Beast of Nurgle's. Uh, so there is, um, you know, th those blitzers up on the line at the moment are going to have to be somewhere else if they want to be receiving a ball. And anywhere they break into the backfield, you know, getting that disturbing presence on them does make receiving really tough, even at agility four. This is the, the scoring early. Obviously, he had no choice there, but it puts him in no. a position where he gets a return clap with the claw after the LOS hits, as opposed to just taking two sets of LO hits in a, LOS hits in a row. It's not an awful position to be in, although the way he got into it is, you know. I think I think things Tough. are fine for dude right now. Um, he's, yeah, I think he's so. lost two so. rotters, but those are only rotters. Um, you know, they are the junk of the team. He's still well, got eleven on the field, although that isn't likely to be the truth in two take, turns' time. Take and there's three orders out here. Back. That's great news. Take these two rotters out here, and he's fielding good players on the LOS, and that could shift. Yeah. And shape when you say that, there's still a rotter, yeah. dirty player in the backfield. There's still a pest that only has block. There's a Nurgle's warrior that only has block, which I might even have up on the line just to try and, and pull those one in sixes and again to make throwing anything up to the line difficult to do, even handoffs. So, Wait. yeah, I may have, again, advised that there were turns that we should put more smell up on the line. But in the heat of battle, all sorts of things can uh, happen. Yeah, well, this is looking. It's looking really easy defense, isn't it? Because no rerolls, anything can go wrong yeah. for the orcs, and he's got the. And of course, the half yeah. of men up and, and of course, not jeopard. Right. Yeah, not jeopardizing the better players is, is a fair call too, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, yeah wizard, wizard's wizard the best right, option. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a wizard and a bib. Yeah, no, no question, no question, wizard. Um, and also, yeah, Louise is no longer a red nap. No, that's true. She got hit by the strictly curse. Uh, <laughs> the strictly curse being that people go and strictly come dancing and then uh, leave bang their the husbands. Yeah. They leave their husbands and wives because they bang the dancers. Yep. And oh, then, which uh, one left? Which then? Oh, because they were quite. Didn't they do adverts together and all sorts? Yes, uh, she went on that. She went on that, and then she banged the dancer and uh, left. Left Jimmy. <laughs> There you go. You know, he was a non-Arsenal player that I didn't entirely hate. So I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit gutted to hear that. Yeah. Shouldn't have let his wife go on strictly, mate, what you talking about. Yeah, you shouldn't. Bring it upon you yourself. really yeah. shouldn't. Like, it's, it's a fucking stupid well, thing to do. I can't believe so it's it's a did minus, it. It's a minus EV move for the sake of the, for the health of the marriage, right? It really is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not sure one can let your partner do things or not let them. The world doesn't really work like that anymore. But you can certainly strongly disagree that you think it's something they should do. <laughs> you can you can definitely not let them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are means and ways, but... I mean, 
<laughs> yes, exactly. You can you can exercise whatever powers you believe you have. But you know, as a man that's been married over twenty years, let me tell you, I do not let. Oh, my he fucked himself out of his. Let her not. She chooses what the hell she does. He fucked himself out of his two D on the raw there. Well, he couldn't. He, he had to do that first, though, because the guard. Oh, yeah, he yeah. Had to do his guard, so he had to do that. One. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Now this is, oh, this is pretty decent. <laughs> It's amazing for, it's amazing for El Duderino. He just smashes the fuck out of his best player. <laughs> yeah, he, he's he, yeah. I think it's the wrong side to do this, but of course it was strength five the other side. Yeah, but he has got <sighs> strength five doesn't. It's only fifty five percent because there isn't a reroll. And if he doesn't get it, he's got AG four catching in only two um, disturbing presences. So that's fine, isn't it? Oh, that's very good, Makit. I was nerding out over the Louise reference. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, I know, you're, yeah, I think it was probably because he was shit for Spurs, little bass. If he'd been good for Spurs, then probably I would have hated him. Uh, although, you know, I despise Teddy Sheringham, and he was never good for anybody. <laughs> Apart from England, I think you'll find Teddy the Snail Sheringham. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a bit of he's a bit of a bit of a hero for me to be honest. With like absolutely zero physical ability, yet still yet still playing for England like well. Well, it's amazing, I, isn't yeah, it? I'm slightly older than you. Oh, here we yeah. go. Moment of silence for Thomas Brolin. True pass. Brolin, darling, Brolin. <laughs> Got to pile on. You do. Uh, only stunned. I don't understand. El. I thought it was an auto kill. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's because well, you hesitated wrong. on pressing the pylon. True, I yeah. see. You, I you, see. We spoke about this before. You as need to be clicking where you think it's going to pop Alan up. Alan Hansen always thing. says, hesitation is final. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't say it anymore, does he? But uh, every single fucking episode of Munch of the Day, he would say, hesitation's final. <laughs> no. Fucking hell. Well, well, there's no harm in repeating the hits. He had one phrase, and he used it every fucking episode. <laughs> could you imagine if Pining On was like, you know, on the skill list where you could choose manual or automatic, and it was just automatic? It, it was, was in Blood Bowl incredible. 1. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, there is another claw hit to come, possibly, but it's it's difficult. This We need yeah, this, this to be on the field after the foul. He had the GFI with the beast, uh, the, the beast man. He could have, he could have moved the rotter to like this rotter. Could have gone to there, and that G, that beast man could have GFI to here. Then he would have got the two D on him, and then the two D with claw. Yeah, now he's got a one D followed by a two D, and the one D. I see. I'd have taken it the other way around. Yes. You could do the one D with the mighty blow, and then if that is even a push, you get two D with the claw. Except you would need a power. That's the bad thing, isn't it? Because this guy was still oh, firm. So well. it was, it was doubly bad. I didn't think it was worth the yeah, foul. Yeah, no. And you're probably right. Yeah, I didn't think it was worth the foul. I think you put the put the this one in here, so then you try and push him for the two D. The way they, the way he done it, but I would have GFI'd anyway. To be fair. Also for two D. Oh wait, no, 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 the, the, the beast of Nurgle is, is pretty terrible. I mean, it's a great sacrifice yes. piece because it hasn't got anything on it you really need it to have. It's got guard, which is all right, but on a team that doesn't have any other guard, that's almost not, you know, almost not a factor. Yeah, especially with the Nurgle beast being someone you really don't move around all that much. Exactly. So you can just throw it somewhere and then you just don't care about it. Yeah. Um, and if they really do eventually that bang it out, does. It, yeah, it's not really central to your plan. And you can just buy another. Buy another one, you rich motherfucker. <laughs> Good reference there, for anybody else. Yeah, so this half uh, winding Slightly, down, nice calm. Yeah, petered out. I mean, it's it's uh, advantage El Dudorino. It's one nil to him. Obviously that. That is an advantage. Wiz is up also, the sleeve. We well, still got the Wiz. There's plenty of dead orcs. The only one that can come back and reinforce is just a naked line orc. So there's nothing useful on him. And the only thing he's uh, yeah. lost are replaceable rotters. 
I did wonder if Duderino made a mistake in fouling because he did remind the orc coach that fouling is a play. Oh, they both have bribe, don't they? So the game yeah. reminded them. Oh my god, it was Kevin Clifton, the dirty dog. That's unbelievable. Kevin Clifton is a is a is a dirty Dino. He is an absolute dirty Dino. He he was to blame for Louise Redknapp, right? And then he got married to another dancer on Strictly, and then he left her for someone who who entered Strictly. <laughs> like, what? What a philandering boss. <laughs> Isn't he just? Yeah. What a dirty dog. I'm completely lost. This is a world of people I don't know or care about. I don't know any of the people, but I can see the chain of events that are happening and what Jim is describing as yeah, a so, well, exactly. slotting some honeys that come on Strictly. <laughs> he has. He, is, then... <laughs> he really has. Holy moly. What? <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but if... if... I don't know. Louise Redknapp always struck me as quite nice. Yeah. And somewhat attractive. Yeah. Isn't there a point at which you stick? Oh, she's a bit old, isn't she? Well, maybe it's that. <laughs> to be fair, all all three of the were all three of them were somewhat attractive. So fair enough, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean you fucking you know. Gonna do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I always thought I, I did sort of always not really blame Rod Stewart, who did marry exactly the same woman three times. Except <laughs> each time he just basically traded one for one. He literally looked exactly the same, but ten years younger. <laughs> there you go. And you sort of oh, thought, man. okay, well, I mean, at least he knows what he wants. That's, <laughs> there's a certain purity to that. Both teams on the double bribe. Oh, that kick is awful. Yeah. Wow. We're going to see the fouls raining in now. Oh, yeah, that is brutal to the orbs. I mean, they've got the speed to get there, but... You just don't want to be there, the do you? No, you don't. <laughs> At least his worry is, like, I mean, for a fucking full-length drive defence against a bash team that's pretty slow, having your warriors out on the rings like this... I mean, the guys on the right are fucking two, three turns for doing anything. Yeah, he should have ruled a five this one, I think. I think that yeah. was fair to stop the quick score, but now he's got he's both claws on one side, he's got the beast on <laughs> yeah. that side. It's like, I think you should just rule a five this I, one. I, I don't hate the setup, but I do hate how completely overweighted to one side it is. Everything dangerous is on one side and everything lightweight is on the other. Hmm. Which side do you attack, then? <laughs> yeah, so he could... Brandora oh, is dead. Shit. Looks like the regen didn't work. Yeah. It didn't, and of course that uh... armor seven fading. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Good God That's... Almighty. That killed him. Yeah, he's just, he's dead. Dead. That weakens dead. this weak side even more. I I I just. And it's where the ball is. You just you don't have enough numbers to really take advantage of it, do you? Yeah, because what you'd like is the like the semi screen down the middle here, right? Uh, to slow even further the yeah, advance down, yeah, and you just exactly. man full full orc power the fucking left hand flank and just. I mean, if you could knock out. out some of the night line of scrimmage, you can push this crap line orc up into that space. Nothing off that one. Wizard, of course, still in hand, but I don't see that getting played. This is perfect. You need to knock it. Ooh, I'd have knocked it towards the beast. Yeah, now you've, you've ruined the space. So I wanted to march that line all through. Mm. I mean, the TP can't go anywhere else, right? You have to take the hit. The hit positions off the line. I guess it could have had the uh, beast on the line. All is picked up. Well, it's his only guard, so. Oh, you fouling time in it, boys. Of course, that's what we wanted to keep the line on for. <laughs> yeah. Have two bribes, must foul. Yeah, fouling a rotten. Well, you can't blame him. I mean, he wants to get back on the numbers on this drive, and he's, you know, things are a little more in his favour now. Yeah, and would it be now 10 8? 10, 11, 10, 11, well, 11 8. you can get the warriors over, the ones on the right, straight in the center. 
Maybe you just... No, you want to be Blitzen with Claw, but the strength 5 to clap out one of those Black Orcs. The more central one. And then you just start shoring up quite heavily. He's Claw Bomb. You've got a Claw Bomb. He's got a Yeah, you've, you've got to, yeah. But, you know. Well, I mean, the, the, the safe way to do it, I suppose, is to try and... Um... Dodge out afterwards and not stay on this troll. Just pile on, then you've been you safe. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Claw pump, man. It's it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> claw warrior, yeah. The claw warrior going down there is interesting because it's advancing into a space where the Yorks aren't really going to be going with the ball. Could be taking them out of drive, to a, to a certain extent, right? He couldn't go much further, could he? That was the thing. He was stuck on the he was stuck on the wing. Well, he could have got. He could have stayed in his in his field in his half of the pitch. Yeah, yeah. I would, have, I would have liked that. Then he could have activated the beast as well, couldn't he? Potentially. And of course, it would just be two assists for the um to bang out the beast. Okay, so again, really... we're, well, this is an interesting oh, choice, trying. isn't it? So we're not using either of our claws to blitz with. We're using the strength five, which again can hit anything for two die. This is, this so is the, it's a positional blitz. About. It's about controlling the ones coming down this flank. But if you're worried about you don't have the fucking claw guy in the orc's half. I've yeah. done this. Claw palm. Kill all men's. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, I mean, I think at 1-0 up, there's a good argument here that it doesn't really matter if they score as long as you can take out, you know, two or three more orcs. You've won yeah. anyway. Yep. Uh, and certainly taking out their big killer would be useful. You run the pesty straight down just to sort of control the blitz. The short your ball carrier, obviously you don't want to get your ball carrier killed. Or do you dodge out the rotter? And maybe, I'm thinking of coming down towards the guard's edge. I thing, think it's going to dodge out there. the rotter yeah, yeah. at the end. He's Doesn't even push in this there. One first. Wow. He's definitely going to... No, dude, because the one stays out when he dodges the... This is quite nice, isn't it? Keeping you both your besties safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. Remember, he's still got a whiz, and you know that's a lovely insurance policy to to have dry. So we've got two orcs tied up. The troll looks free, ish. Yeah, it's a troll, though, isn't it? Yeah, the beast. The beast does stop. The uh, like he stops his claw from his tackle from doing anything unless you just blitz this guy and get in and then get the black orc in and then two D with two D the beast with a. You don't really want to be two D in the beast. Well, you can uphill this. You can uphill this beast for two die, and control the claw mighty at the same time if you get the push. I mean, it's it's not lovely. But at least the ball is, if you stand up the guy that's down over there, the ball is safe. So you're not risking position if it fails. Maybe just bang Yeah, well, that's that's what I feared. The minute the troll can move, it doesn't. Yeah. Bang out the rotter and then uphill the beast. There you go. There's your turn. Not much, that's... is it? <laughs> it no. isn't much of a turn, no. <laughs> no, he's centralising just to bring oh, he's, what, he's gonna what bang remains out the of the gang well. back together. Oh. That's fair. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the full bang men's approach. Of course, that would have been harder if uh, that guy had been in his own half. But there you go. I don't. Why are you pushing him that way? So now it's a one. Ah, huh? yeah, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Like, can you explain to me why he oh, would okay. push him back towards his own team? Uh, you push him down into your half. And he's got yeah, I like that plan. Um. <laughs> Because otherwise he could get up and base the ball. Ah, um, he's yeah. Because you don't want but him in the backfield. Not it's not even next turn. It's the turn after and the turn after that. At the moment, you're so slow. down on he should all. Should be gone. Should be gone, right? Yeah, I know. I just I think it's probably about feeling he wants to control what areas of the pitch he can. I suppose. I'd be controlling this tackle pommer with my claw pommer very hard. <laughs> <laughs>
it, I love yeah. the irritation in your voice that this this obvious thing is not happening enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do share your view. The Claw Mighty needs to be hitting things, like all the time. Yeah. Hang on. Or the Claw <laughs> Bomber, one or the other. No. Like it's fair that he's only got one tackle against the dodge, but yeah, you know, at this point, you don't even care if. He... Oh god, that's not good. And that yeah, was, I think you just leave him alone. That was a, that was a no assist activation. Yeah, that was not good. So that was a four plus. That's um, yeah. Playoff nerves, maybe. Well, you know, sometimes we're prone to ask who can say if that was right or wrong. Unless there is absolutely no plan to put any other player over towards that side of the pitch. And you urgently needed it to move. This isn't the blitz. It was just wrong. This is the blitz, isn't it? This I don't think this is the blitz. Okay. He's done it, he's done it. Got the pal. Pal on. Yes. Only a stun. Oof, a nice stuck nice. on the I want my money back. I was stuck on the yeah. floor. That was a bad mistake doing that blitz. <laughs> <laughs> it was a huge mistake. I, I thought he was going to go for the Black Orc guard. Black Orc might have there, control a bit of that. I thought it was a fantastic move. You may have heard me mentioning it before he uh, chose the blitz here. What, the, the least relevant one right up on the side on its own stuck on the block warrior? Yes. Yeah, so if he moves his claw pommer up there, you don't think the other side of the field where the beast has just gone stupid is then it, completely It was a joke, because he put the assist ah, in, right, good. for the blitz, and I thought, no, it, well, he can't do I, I mean, I thought yeah. that was about just, you know, putting one of his least valuable pieces on a, a good bob that's good to take out of the drive. One-on-one, -on -one, that trade's fine. Exactly, Tom Schneers, that was the joke. Yeah, that right. was the joke. This is going to be great. Well, this now guy next to the beast, yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I oh. could have done this earlier. Oh, well, no. yeah, that's. I mean, why isn't I, he oh, fouling? You never foul stunts, it. but you got double bribe. It's not worth it. You get, you get, you putting him next to the. Like, if you don't the want troll him next or the to black orc. Yeah. Either way, it's not great. Yeah. Oh, the rotter. Look at him, sneaky little bastard. <laughs> yeah. The bottle is based. Oh, GG. GG. That is it, over and done. GG. GG. Well, I liked that. That was a nice creative move, actually, at the end. It was Wait, no, no use where it was. Do you activate the troll on a 4 plus here? I think you have to. What are you doing mm, with him? No. I like basing the two rods, but it's not necessarily the greatest use of manpower. Well, you've, if you don't activate, like, he's already stupid, so you have to activate him this turn. Yeah. And so can you afford to leave somebody next to him? So I think well, you just open with it. I think I think opening with a 4 plus here is fine. Should have taken pro and not block. So did he. Yeah, I, I, like I wasn't, I wasn't just memeing. I, I thought like it's, you know, it's hard to leave somebody there. I mean, it depends which way you're going here. I mean, I think you've got an opportunity to go in either direction. Will he remember um, the? And if you're coming over to fire. this side, yeah, then I didn't hate blitzing off the piece he's just dodged off. But of course, it was a one in thirty-six to dodge off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I this... want to, yeah, if you're going to go that way, you probably should just blitz. You Are time. you dodging up to screen off from the tackle, the extra heads guy? Two heads? Is that two heads? Extra heads. Extra heads. <laughs> Fuck knows what they are. Like, the, the icon is awful. It looks like four it heads. It is two heads, yes. <laughs> two heads, okay. But it looks like four, um, right? From a distance. Yeah, yeah, the little four helmets. Things, yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks like the thorns in a rose bush to me. That is a terrible um, icon. He's not screening him off. Interestingly, I thought the latest trailer for the Imperial Nobility, the visuals looked a bit better. And it just came with the distressing news that there is no redraft at all. Now see, if he's going to move back to here, then he really shouldn't have activated the troll. <laughs> and that's where yeah. he caught! 
no. Yeah, that's again. They they've both made the same error, haven't they? It's it's spreading like an infection. Look, it's it's we're pretty deep in the playoffs in the chalice. You know, I think the question is. To... By watching, are we also going to be infected with this? Are we all now going to start activating our big guys three or four moves before we put someone next to them? <laughs> I did think it was reasonable to think about him and think whether you're going to move somebody there or not. All right, he's yes. Involved. Was that the wizard? Was that the time? You've got well, little recovery. Yeah, I didn't like it, his wizard, it, no. It was yeah. the wizard, but it really shouldn't have been. Yeah. yeah. I think it's too early. So... Um, 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 what it says is that he fears this guy is potatoing down this flank and that because he's blodge, he doesn't have a piece to take it out. And he's right, he doesn't. But then you can use the whiz next turn when you can collect the ball, not this turn when you can't. Yeah, if you're scared, you run this guy to here, this guy to here, this guy to here, rotate exactly. these guys around, and yeah. then you bolt yeah. and you recover. Yeah. And then you move look, the rotter before the beast. And then you look at getting your tackle piece back somewhere useful. Yeah. Um, so I think that was a panic bolt because of fearing the potato down this flank. But I think there were other ways to reassure yourself and keep the wizard in hand to deal with it next turn. Yeah. I mean, there is a chance, because the orcs are short on numbers, that it arrests their drive enough to stop them scoring. But there's also a chance he's completely just shot his wad. Yep. I think you spaffed his load air. I think that's gone. Premature wizaculation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wizard is no longer up the sleeve. <laughs> Big guy, Corvid. <laughs> yeah, what does he do after he gets it? Yeah, exactly. Pa pass it to this rotter or something, I guess. He just fucking holds it so he controls the blitz. <laughs> oh, thank you, Round Dev Calrestian. That is the sound by I was indeed searching for, isn't it? Big guy, Corvid. <laughs> yeah. It's spreading through this game, and let's hope that the, uh, the four or five of us watching it are not also infected. <laughs> the things we risk for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm sat in a booth with Elkmean, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, so this is quite nice. If you're not blitzing the, the Black Orc, you can, you can chain him because he hasn't got stand firm. And Oh, no, he's got stand firm. The problem with a punt here is, of course, uh, the aforementioned disturbing presence. Yeah. So finding a square to get uh, the punt off. He's yeah, he's he's pretty a little bit left here, Jim. A little left here. That would be pretty bad if he, was the, if he wasn't the Nurgle, but he is the Nurgle, so... <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you mean the Nurgle picking it up and punting? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah I, I thought you meant the Orc recovering and doing that. No, I know um, you meant the Nurgle punting. Yeah, <sighs> yeah the, the problem with that is... Yeah. Because what, okay. what the fuck else can he's, he do? Like, he's has he not blocked his diagonal square to uh, get onto the ball? No, he's trying to move this Black Orc out to give himself another route through. No, I mean with the Rotter. <sighs> Because well, yes. he had his straight, straight yeah. shot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the rotter blocked it. He, he, he had to push to this square. And the rotter needed to assist from that square. Yeah. And then he would have been able to go diagonal through. So now it's seven to get there. Then GFI to get off there. And then pass it somewhere. Um, either back to this rotter or punt. But I don't think punting is right. I think pass it back to a, a rotter here. Yeah, I, I would usually say pass it back into a pocket, but he hasn't really created a very good one. Yeah, he didn't move He didn't move the guy first. I think he should have moved him first and then passed it to him. Well, he makes all the dice he we, needed, so... We're not just... Pute we, we have to be punting him. It has to nah, be he's just going to hold it. Just going to hold, hold it. it. He's holding it. Wow. Tag the edge four. Okay, we had the control the edge four plan. Which... So... Won't work, you, but it's interesting. You blitz with the downed guy, right? The edge five movement that I so you can pick up with the edge four sure hands. Getting no, down the You know, you just two D. You just two D. Yeah, you two D. Because you have to get it down. Oh, of course it. he's not fucking oh. thingy where they just jump up and they've got an instant fucking plus strength. No, they're not yeah. beastmen. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> the only bash teams worth merit are the ones that have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big dodge. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't a dodge, was it? Because he got the knockdown. And the stupid. He was able to get the pick up the killer. Oh, got to run him down as a receiver, surely. <laughs> no, no. I like. I like moving him back. You're one nil up. You've just got to defend him. Anyway. No, he's yeah. the Yorks. No, no, no. The Yorks need the receiver. Yeah. He just yeah, put no, the line he, lineman he, there to base that line. Oh, the lineman's yeah. getting the jump up block, isn't it? That's the idea. Uh, 
it's trying to control that piece, sure, yeah. Is that the right square, though? Oof. No, oh, that is the wrong ah. dice. So there you that go, tagging the edge four yeah. pays off massively. And now he can surf this uh, this fella. <laughs> yep, and in doing so, win the game. Yep. Oh, fuck me. No, no really, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, you've got your prize, PC. Everyone's got a prize. I judge yours to be £153. <laughs> 153 quid's not bad. <laughs> you can even do this even nicer, right? You can uh, you can punch no, this guy with claw. That might be up for it. That's... You can punch this guy with claw, and then that frees up the rotter to go in here, and then you can punch him and chain him the sideline instantly. No, you can't. You, you can't f surf him, Jim. You just need to <laughs> run away and win the game. You have you to surf him. Surfing, you ain't you living. Have to you, surf know what I'm you literally yeah. have to surf him. Why? Why not just win the game? We've because got no tackle to deal with. That is winning the game. Wait, can he can he claw palm reach? This, this guy can fuck you over. You can roll yes. dice. You, you have to surf him. Oh, I hated this. See, look, that would have been you. No, been you just this. need to that move the black orb, and then you there. hit with the claw palm. Nah, nah, yeah, that was nah. the wrong way to move it. That wasn't. That was bad. Nah, that it's was fucked right. on all fronts. He, that PC went to save him from Jim saying he's fucked it, and PC said he's fucked this as well. <laughs> yeah, he's no, that was the wrong piece to hit with there. You had to hit with the uh, the one just behind the beast, because it at least moved the Black Orc away, which is all you needed, and then you could push it to the edge with the Rotter. Uh. And then your killer could hit the uh, the horrible piece behind the ball carrier, and the ball carrier runs away, and you win. You also win by it surfing him, just, just, just quietly. <laughs> well, it is, look, it is still just a two plus, to, because of the two heads, to run away. So he can, he can still hit them both, he can still, he can still claw pom yeah. this guy and hit And, hit and he can claw pom from the, then from the other side and claw pom it onto the beast, which isn't a bad place for it to fall over, yeah. in case it doesn't die. So this is all still fine. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, exactly. So on six, we can still hit from the sideline. There you go, it's the power. How's well, me black orc? Even easier then. With his rotter. Yeah, now it's a 3D. Yeah. Gets the push for the surf. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> can he block the tile though? He can't, can he? Because of the way he came in. No, no, you, you know, he should. <laughs> no, he's used everyone. This is you just run away. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> well, he has to like double GFI now, doesn't he? Surely you have yeah, to follow so this. You can't does, run you down. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna fucking. He's got legs, boy. He's gonna run you down. Whereas if you'd surfed him, see, you wouldn't have had to have outrun him. <laughs> and you'd have been, <laughs> you would have just run behind here and been like, oh, look, I'm safe. But then you probably had to do them anyway, because just in case the other go for the other... Um, plus oh, he's got the rotter for the screen. The beast. Yeah, but I, would, I just then. moved him back behind the screen. That was my idea with the surf. He's already won it up, isn't he? He's just got to... He's just yeah. Got to turn. But not fuck it. Yeah, he's just going to Exactly. Him. Well, even if he falls over, it's now almost certainly too far away to involve a passing play against Nogal. Yeah, that's true. It's probably fine. Um, pass one, over to the tackle. Uh, he's pass got over this diagonal as well, which makes eight, eight, nine. 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 Yeah, that's all fine. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, he didn't need the second go for it. He's taggable, but not tackleable. So. Oof, re rolls. Okay, he's okay. probably just given up on the game. So. Yeah, I think he's just trying to kill something. To leave a mark. That's the worst thing, though, is when you want to kill stuff and this doesn't happen. <laughs> so it turns out the Wiz worked fine, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, worked out great. I mean, to be fair, like, the Orcs had eight players. So yeah. <laughs> so it had pretty good odds of being fine. Like, even without using the Wizard at all. Like, it was using the trying to get that SVP for open. But I would have just, I would have just, in that situation, because you're already on top, I would have just saved the wizard in case oh, it all Oh, it's not even running the orc down as a fucking abstract. 
El Dudorino, the lone bulwark against the Orc Tide. <laughs> the only Orcs that lost this round are losing to El Dudorino's Nurgle. Yeah. Clawpom. The Clawpom are winning the match single-handedly, actually, didn't he? With those three removals in the first four turns or whatever. Yeah, he calmed it down yeah. in the in the second half, but... Yeah. He wasn't being used, you know, he was probably pissed off at the coach at that point. <laughs> yeah. And he Plenty didn't make the turn. GFI here, so now he can get based by the by the beast without making a GFI, which is, if you ask me, yeah, a mistake. pretty terrible. Because at this point, you just want to minimise the number of hits you face, so... I don't hate scoring now, but I also don't hate just not bothering. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'd rock, but at least I know I'm shit at eye racing. That's the thing, right? Yeah, that's just that's. That's Always the big good. thing. I expect to lose at eye racing, and while I don't really enjoy being shit at it, at least like, <laughs> at least that's what I expect. <laughs> oh yeah, Pedro, and then didn't take it. Didn't take it with Chalice. I, d I don't think that record will ever be beaten, to be honest. 33-3 with Nurgle is fucking insane. But it only had one tackle, and I just thought, I just thought they're not. Then that's not good enough for the Chalice because you face a diverse field, don't you? So I chose like chaos with. You're very lightly to. There we are. He bangs it in for the two nil. The only question remaining is, can he avoid damage? So presumably we'll see him just throw everything into the back of the field here yeah, and the just put his three most disposable pieces on the line. Looks like he might be no. it properly. For some reason we're not doing that. <laughs> Offset LOS. Oh, glorious Tony. Well, we have at least put our three most disposable pieces on the line, but for some reason we are defending against a drive. Yeah. Uh, I suppose with a riot, he could score in two and blitz, so perhaps just holding them up for a turn or so isn't the end of the world. I don't think it's worth it on balance, the chance of just randomly losing losing a player. He's got a bribe as well, hasn't he? He's already shown a complete yeah. disinterest in winning the game. Yeah, so. he did swap over. We saw the fucking switch flick yeah, there. We, yes, we did. Yeah, I think I think you have to just run away at this point. And that's fair. I think most of us have been there with that. The fuck it, it's time to fucking clap. I was gonna well, say I mean, particularly that it's one of those there, games but... that was very frustrating as as we point as Jimmy pointed out, it was pretty much turn four. Even if the Orcs won, they had very little chance in the next game. So, I, yeah. you know, the chalice was over for them, whether they won this game or not, and the game was almost certainly gonna get lost. You still win to just a make the next, of eight next game. I think yes, you, still, you do. Yeah. Um, you still just play to win. I, I you can't Yeah, absolutely you do. I do, but I can understand yeah. how you can get you can get on top of you mentally. I don't think turn four was it though. I think it was um, earlier in the half. There we go. No, I just came. Um, yeah, I feel as though it was sort of late in the second half. He... Oh, that's when he gave up. Know. Yeah, but I yeah. think it was kind of over earlier, right? It was he got those removals super early, which just put the ball under too much pressure for the rest of the game. Yeah, his, his team could be a lot better. I think maybe he should have tried to have got a warrior down to score. You know, like either this claw mighty one, or uh, yeah, this claw mighty one. What what El Dudrino should have probably done there? Probably should have tried to get this claw mighty warrior down to get the touchdown on him. It's just one Kaz away, not one Kaz. Yeah, but he hasn't got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think you're the York, so you just fucking run away as well. You don't even let him fucking. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I think he probably should have tried to have got it on there. Does he pile here? If he piles, he's fucking well and truly not interested. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you, you was called with that block re-roll was absolutely. I think with that's a, switch a regen. Yep, I think Blip. it is. It looks like it from my client. <sighs> Gonna eat the ball here. Well, dude, Reno should have not had that guy <laughs> getting, oh, getting killed, should he? Imagine if he had just, like, died, no regen. Even missing yeah. X, no regen. Losing of strength five. 
on a on a utterly pointless turn when he could have been backlined, could have been very, very, very costly. Yeah, it's this is not good challenge. Against a, yeah, against a team like a, a coach that's just I'm done, I'm killing shit now. Yeah, you, yeah, you have to, like, we've, really we've already lost a Pestigore. We lost a, another Pestigore last game that was uh, the Rackle piece, which he had in earlier rounds, died last game. The Block one has died this game. So, you know, the, the team is starting to get a bit thin. Do I hate this pile on. Open up yeah, the that's going to get fouled. That yep. screams, please foul me. Yep, the only so now thing... we have to defend it. Yeah, the only thing Drag cares about is hurting people, and you've given him a foul target. I, I do not like that. He's also got a jump up guy here, so protecting him from here and here is is not going to reliably work. Um, this could work out. Very. This could be a very costly move from El Dudarino. If you're Drag, though, you're fucking loving it. This is a mistake, <laughs> I feel. Yeah, big mistake. But hey, he's through with the last eight, so that's good, isn't it? It is good. Yeah, it's a good, good show. Yep. Yeah, just, yeah, bribe goes, okay. Um, can he score from there? MA7, he's four in, yes. I don't think he cares. Yeah, he can. <laughs> no, he's he's receiving the, the ball in uh, quite a lot of uh, disturbing presences. Presences. Mm. Two, isn't it? Or one, just one. Presences. Yeah, only one, yeah. Uh, there you pass one, yeah. from the sideline. Oh, God, he just gets the dub skulls instant. Oh, mate, he's fucking fuming. But, I mean, this is a big this is a big foul, right? Because he's got he's got the guard assist in there, palms yeah. in, and then he's got, like... I mean, doesn't even need a guard, he needs to go in there. So he'd have, like, a th one, two, three... Three or four assist foul, depending on whether he piles or not. Fucking, yeah, I'd love to see it. Good at done, drag. This makes me happy <laughs> because there's yeah oh, oh. wow oh. <laughs> well some days it's not to be your day yeah and every time we play blood bowl we should remember that you know when we have the nice dice we've earned it on the days where we have these dice I don't get into that sense of entitlement. Every every game is as likely to go the same way as last as the last went. Well, I think El, I, I would recognise you as turn. someone that pretty much seems to cruise through life with a sense of entitlement. So I'm sure it doesn't feel particularly. Oh, I've got no sense of entitlement, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, that's that's not me, chief. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Boy, fucking howdy. <laughs> punch your shit in <laughs> punch your shit in monitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh no, I got a fucking like beast of a monitor at home, and uh, yeah, I fucking injured myself on that a couple of times. <laughs> Chan for pylon, he doesn't pylon. I think he's realised that he could have got a massive gang foul then. Yeah, <laughs> it's like fuck. It's. <laughs> I still don't quite know. We're not just running away at this point, but I guess it's more fun. Adds a bit more jeopardy. Yeah. You gotta live on the edge, didn't you? It's important that this guy's stunned anyway, so he's not he's not taking a hit from him, so that's good, isn't it? We will we see a troll blitz? I hope so. That's the play here, isn't it? The black orc punches and then the troll blitzes hey. the claw pommer and kills him. And then El Dudorino will say shit. Yeah, Frank Fur, like, this is. PC's coaching abstract. Um, or completely ignored. It's a very good question. Uh, I can't tell you. And it's not coaching. I just had a chat with him. It was no more than that. Well, tell, try telling that the rebel admins. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah. I have never mentioned anything about any rebel game to anybody, nor would I ever. Views expressed in this stream are not supported what by the rebel, rebel admins. rebel must stay in rebel. <laughs> yeah, you you would get instantly full banned. They would say that was coaching. So yeah, a chat, a chat is completely 
completely, you know, the most the worst thing you can do in Blood Bowl. Second Only before country. the game, it's absolutely fine, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But it's still coaching. But you <laughs> That's don't why you couldn't do it during hits. the game. If you did it during the game, it would be coaching, so you wouldn't be having a chat. There you go, he's got him. Oh, nice. He's Come on, him. do him in. Boom. Oh, oh, doesn't kill him. Stun. Doesn't kill him. Foul him. Foul him, yeah. Foul him, get in! Get in there, lad! Yes! <laughs> He's doing it! Come on, fucking kill him. <laughs> yeah, just a KO. Do you, do you think in some way El Dinoina has not realised this is a new phase of the game? <laughs> yes, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think he had to recognise when that desperation reroll, well, not desperation, frustration. Yeah. Why did, why did he take the push? The beast doesn't have block. No, oh, God. Oh, it was an uphill, um, that's why. So it was the choice of the uh, beast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. my <laughs> bad, my bad. <laughs> that, that's on me, that's on me. <laughs> down. Just a commentator, not a player, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. I, I mean, does he, does he bother scoring here? I mean, does he just ever heard in my life? try and hurt things? He just hurt things. He can't score. Oh, yeah, he can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you try and get the Kaz for your... Yeah, this guy has to. Your project to, guy needs needs punch. it desperately. Yeah. Yeah, he has to. He has to punch. Try work out everything he can to get his punch in. He must punch. <sighs> PC having oh, no, chat with Elp before commenting. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Come on, dude. There's not much to fucking think about here, Chief. It's turn 16, he can do nothing afterwards. Looks like it's a one assist job. No, hey, Dev, I mean, I, I don't tend to run away, but, you know, other people should. <laughs> Why didn't he do, Why didn't he do the hit? Oh, he what had to fuck? figure out, he had to figure out a way to get 2D there, didn't he? He had to. I, yes. Well, yeah. perhaps he was too busy typing nice things. Yeah, but it was so critical. It? it was so critical, he's on 49 hey, XPP, you've got to get do that. <laughs> you've got to try and get a 2 Yes, a very bland rotter has uh, has skilled up. The dirty player will get a second skill. Yeah. I suppose you can wrestle it, can't you? That's always useful. I do like a wrestle a wrestle DP. Yeah. I always viewed the rotters as fucking getting any sort of skill apart from DP as bloat. I passed over doubles on one. Yeah, I mean, it is in, it. in a format like the ladder. You're, you're probably not yeah. wrong, but in a chalice, of course, you know, every well is well, in a. Yeah. Every player, knockout yeah, every tournament. Player counts, yeah. Then perhaps everything you've got, you need to think: is it, you know, is it useful for the next match rather than is it bloat in terms of the next spin? Yes, exactly. Well, there you go. That's the end of the match. Congratulations, El Reno. Commiserations, Drag. Thank you very much, Elp and PC, for coming in and doing the commentaries. It was a pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.